CC and Romeo on 93.5 K-Day. We've got the smooth operator right now. It's 935 KDA CC and Romeo. I yeah. can't believe this. I'm low key geeking. We got Big Daddy Kane on the line. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Oh, man. yeah, it's that voice. That's the smooth <laughs> operator voice right there. You already know what it is, man. Thank you for waking up with us. We appreciate that. So, how are you doing, man? How's things been going since COVID 19, the whole pandemic? How are you and the family, Big Daddy Kane? Um, everybody's cool. I mean, you know, we're dealing with it. Uh, I mean, I, I, I think my seven year old probably having the toughest time. You yeah. know, he, he used to being outside with it, everybody on the block, you know. That's true. I got a seven-year-old, too, man. And we go in the driveway and shoot hoops every now and then. But he wants to be with his friends, but he just can't right now. It is no. what it is. You yeah. feel me? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. You just got to have you have to make those adjustments. I mean, I even had to break down and get him a PlayStation. I said, I was going to wait till he was about 10. But as you said, it is what it is. You know? <laughs> yeah. got to keep them busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that we can't travel right now. We're being safer at home. Do you miss being on stage and traveling on tour? I did miss it until I actually did it. I had a show like about a week ago in D.C. And I mean, um, it was like, you know, we had to take our temperatures before we came in the building. Yeah. No guests allowed, no food allowed. And we all, we had to keep the mask on until it was time to go on stage. Of course, no audience. They was filming it for um, people that's with their national park. And I was like, you know what? This ain't the way you're supposed to perform. You no, know? man. It's, 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 you want that you energy. Know? You want You want that vibe yeah. that you normally have. Exactly, exactly. It was like a beautiful setup, very professional. It was just a, a completely different vibe than what I'm accustomed to, you know. Big Daddy Kane hanging out with the KD Morning Show. So, you know, the talk this whole weekend is like him calls you out, then he kind of like falls back on it. Look, we want to see this. Is it a chance that this versus battle may happen with you and Rakim? I mean, in all honesty, I would doubt it. Uh, Swiss Beats asked me about it back in April. Like, okay. Uh, Maybe two nights after the Teddy Riley baby face battle, he asked me, would I be willing to do it? And I said, make it happen. You know, from what I understand, he has relentlessly tried to make it happen. And then, um, you know, this post popped up on, you know, on his brother's page. So I guess, you know, it was, you know, I guess that made Switch feel like, okay, it's, it's going to happen. And, we all uh, felt I like mean, that, yeah. Right. And then, um, then it was taken down. Then he took it down. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is, you know. And if it's not Rock Him, like who would you like to go song for song for in a versus battle, if not him? I mean KRS I think KRS one would be exciting as well too. You know? Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah, I think that'd be real exciting, you know. Cause I know I know that if I did it with Chris, I know Chris would be people be willing to, you know, exchange bars and stuff and you know make it even more entertaining. So I mean, yeah, I I mean you know, I think that would be dope. And you know what? And the thing is, too, Big Daddy Kane, not only do you have hits, but your storytelling. So whoever you go against, they got to have the stories that you got, too, though. You know what I mean? You got decades of stories, bro. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure that we all have amazing stories to tell, man. You know what I mean? Because we talking about 30 plus years, you know, for each, you know, each one of us, you know. So, I mean, you know, we all have amazing stories. What do you think of Snoop Dogg having you in his top five rappers of all time? That's dope. Oh, yeah, I think that's slick. I mean, I've always been a big fan of Snoop, and I had the opportunity to work with him a few years back, and that was something, like, you know, real unique because he has such a unique way of recording and um, dubbing vocals, and I was just like, you know, like, oh, wow. You know, I'm not used to seeing MCs do this, you know, so, I mean, I got a lot of respect for Snoop, and, you know, I appreciate it. That's what's up. So all of us been safe at home. This past weekend, a lot of people watched this movie. I checked out The Tax Collector, which was like Oh my so God, I watched it this dope. weekend too, Rome. Yo, so dope. I'm not going to lie, Shia LaBeouf was dope. <laughs> yeah, he, he murdered that role. Now I got to ask you, uh, have you seen this or what have you been watching? Like as far as Netflix and things like that? No, I haven't seen that yet. Um, honestly, I've been catching up on old episodes of NCIS Los Angeles. And um, I just started watching the new season of The Order on um, this um, werewolf and witches um, TV show that's on Netflix. Was that is that good? Because I was thinking of watching it, but I wasn't too sure. The first season was good. I only saw the first episode of season two because now, now 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 my wife she she's about to force me to watch something called C with the dude who played Aquaman. 
So I, I, I might have to put what I want to do on the back burner away. You're going to love it. I promise you. It is it is so dope. It's with Jason Momoa. I uh-huh. watched the whole thing on Apple+. Plus. Okay. I'm telling you right now, Big Daddy Kane, your wife is like, that's a jam right there. I'm telling you, that is such a good series. So it's not just about the dude. It's about the whole series. It's about the whole series. Sure. Yeah, it's about warriors. <laughs> if you like fighting and, and stuff like that and warriors, it's dope. All right. I'm, well, yeah, my wife going to make sure I watch it. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Happy wife, happy life. That's what they say. That. Trust me, I live by that. Now, so you're sitting on the couch, Big Daddy Kane. Uh, what's your go-to snack? Well, I'm sitting here um, eating a plum right now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. healthy with it? He's uh, healthy. I'm look, like, damn, I'm eating funyuns. Look, I do the white uh, the, the white cheddar popcorn in the bag with barbecue corn chips, and I shake it up. <laughs> that, that's my hood snack, uh, and I still eat it. Uh, nah, it's, um, uh, I like um, those um, those spicy um, pistachios that come in the red bag. Oh, like yeah. The, okay. Yeah, those are good, though, too. Like new things. Yeah, I, I do those, you know, like when I'm watching a movie with the family. Now, as soon as we're able to go out and, you know, life gets back to normal, I'm just curious to know, what is the first, very first place you're going to visit as soon as you're able to? Somewhere that's fun for my little man, you know, some, something that he can really enjoy himself and while out. You know. All right, I'm loving that. Now, Big Daddy Kane hanging out with the K Day Morning Show. We got to talk about the new single, man, featuring Chuck D. How'd yes. that come together, man? Let's speak on that now. Well, I mean, you know, with all the chaos and madness that's been going on with this police brutality stuff, man, um, I happened to catch Tamika Mallory's speech that she delivered in Minneapolis. And I mean, you know, it really touched my heart and in that type of way where I was like, you know, like I said, I'm not interested in doing no new music right now, but I actually got something to say. Like, yeah, she made me want to say something. So I put something together. And then when I called Chuck and said, hey, man, I got an idea. And man, you could do some James Brown, Bobby Bird type stuff. You know, he told me about the new song he was doing, State of the Union. I was like, okay, well, we're on the same page. Let's do it. Okay, that's done. And this song is called Enough? Yes, sir. All right, we're going to definitely get that. into that. But before we get into it, Big Daddy Kane, we want you to speak to the city of L.A. and just tell them why they should continue to be safer at home so we can all get back to some normalcy. What would you say to the streets right now? What I would say to the streets is that whether you believe coronavirus is real, whether you believe it's some government conspiracy for a 5G network or whatever it is that you may believe, if you can't explain this death toll, then stay your behind at home, you know? Regardless to what you may think it is, you know, something real, a conspiracy, if you cannot explain this death toll, then I think the wise thing to do is to keep your behind at home. Man, definitely believe in that. And real quick, I, I just want to say this to you, man. I've seen you perform many times. And over the years, some artists that perform 100, 200,000 times, sometimes, I'll be honest, I feel like I've been cheated because they kind of lay back. You've never cheated us on stage, bro. And no. I want to thank you for that. Yes. You thank always you. give 100%. I appreciate it. I, I try, man. I definitely try, man. That's something I enjoy doing. And especially when you see the energy from the crowd, man. You know, so I really enjoy that, man. And, you know, I try to always get my best. No, oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's crazy that just even speaking to you, because I would sit there and watch the music videos, right, on Yo! MTV Raps, and I would see you and I would be like, man, one day, like, I'm going to be, like, just as smooth as him. You know what I mean? Like, I really wanted to be that cool. I was like, I'm going to be cool like that. Like, I wonder how he got that cool you know what I'm saying yeah, like, yeah, yeah so listen I just want to thank you you know honestly for you know just your contribution to hip hop for reals we salute you here at K-Day I appreciate it I appreciate it alright and if your son ever plays on Fortnite he can look up my son Mally Mally 21 they can play <laughs> and be friends cause trust me my son's on there all the time <laughs> yeah, I'll let him know alright man stay blessed Big Daddy Kane alright peace y'all it's the Casey Morning Show with CC and Romeo. Mornings on 93.5 K-Day.